Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today we've got a replay that is a couple of years old now. Actually, maybe longer than a couple. Can't remember how long Google has been retired. Because that leads me on to this man down in the south with the pink China nuke. This is Google. Or Googly. I really miss Google, to be honest. Every time we lose a, a strong player, we're in Zero Hour. I think it is a sad time. We've lost uh, expert player Rage. And basically, uh, expert player Google. But he is uh, making an appearance here today. This is one of the last sets that he played against uh, Fargo before he went into seemingly permanent retirement. Which was around like the end of the pandemic time when things got back to normal. He uh, went back to work and I think he's got a wife now and stuff. I might be wrong, but I think he has. And I think that's taken up a lot of his time. Um, up at the top, we have the blue player with the Jilly Stealth. This is Easy Fargo. So he's opened a little bit unorthodox here. He's opened with the double, double barracks. Actually, wait. He's got. He's opened with five barracks. Fake, fake, fake. Too real. Hijacker. And I guess he's going for the oil. Yeah, he is. But where's the second rebel that's supposed to be heading over there? It's coming out now. It's worth saying, around about this time and leading up to this particular set, Fargo and Google had played a lot of challenges against each other, and Google had won the majority, maybe all of them. Um, so that kind of tells you the landscape. Google, Google was the favorite to, to win most sets that were played. It was like, oh, another day's passed, and Google's won another set against Fargo. That's the kind of uh, situation it was at. And this is before Fargo, like, went on to spam size, like, seven sets in one day <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. And actually then became uh, a lot better, I think. Uh, but Google is sending the Battlemasters through, trying to get in the supply lines. But he's having trouble doing so because of these uh, boxes from Fargo. But the problem is for Fargo, it's all right doing all these funky and fancy boxes and stuff like that. But... That leaves you with not much cash to do very much else. And he's still got a fake arms dealer. And there's a Battlemaster rocking up. And if he just targets that arms dealer, he can actually damage it uh, quite a lot. I don't think Google realizes that that's actually the fake. He's actually targeting the barracks. But that's actually the real the real McCoy. Fargo has failed to get his safe oil over here on the left-hand side. He's still got a rebel there, though. He's got a couple of TNTs out to kill these Battlemasters. I think that's kind of cool, actually. Fargo will sometimes do this when the Battlemasters rock up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness. I think Fargo's going to be angry with that. But the Battlemaster is going to get captured. Yeah, and the problem is, if you just let Google then tech up, he's going to be on Overlords. And yeah, you might think Hijack is counter Overlords. But if he just mixes one Gat and one Outpost in that army, the Hijacker shouldn't be doing all so much. So... So far, very, very weird play from Mr. Fargo. He's still not got his oil on the left-hand side, which is very, very weird. Google has now managed to get inside of the box, killed the barracks. Battlemaster versus Battlemaster around the back. Fargo comes out on top. There's another hijacker. That Battlemaster is now going to get hit. This one gets hijacked as well. Two more Battlemasters over on the left-hand side. Couple of TNTs here again. I don't know if that's a perfect box when that when that tunnel goes or not. But this is a huge mistake from Fargo, not grabbing that oil. It's absolutely massive. Because he could be building the palace now. Well, he, he even could be building it now, even with the cash he's got. But certainly with that, he can be. But yeah, he's with Stud the Storm. A forward tunnel here. And he's actually... If he just kind of stabilizes now and gets a palace to snipe the overlords, I actually think he's in a good position. Another rebel gets popped here by Fargo. Gonna go for that oil once more. Google pushing through the middle still with his Battlemasters. Would be nice for Fargo if he gets another tunnel around here. If he can send a worker there somehow or drop one off with a technical. Probably get a few tunnels around your palace as well. Sounds like a lot, but he's got 3k float there. And it's very important to protect that palace because otherwise overlords are going to cause a big problem. Rebel gets denied once again. I do like the creativity of Fargo. Like, not often do you see a GLA open with five barracks against the nuke. 
three fake too real. Because if you just do a normal build, like I put a tunnel there, the Battlemaster still gets in, still kills a ton of stuff. So these boxes are still kind of nice. I'm making the occasional TNT there. To uh, to just put on guard mode and just kill the Battlemasters that way. I like it. There's another hijacker in the mix. I think Fargo should be a bit more brazen going for a dozer. Because that certainly will change things. But he's just in defense mode at the minute. Battlemaster around the back is not able to get in there and kill anything. I think Google's tried to control fire in there. It's not done anything. Does kill some workers anyway because of the proximity. Looks just hijackers and TNTs running around tunnels. It's like a true... Uh, true GLA stealth here, but this is the problem. It's that overlord. But the palace is nearly complete, so you just gotta kinda hold the line until Jarman is out to snipe that. A lot of this game depends on how successful this attack is here from Google. Google does have a CC. Fargo even getting the refinery now as well. Would be nice if he gets that tunnel up, he can start focusing down that oil as well. Yeah, Rebel, RPG going down. Google's building up the XP. Carpet and artillery could wipe out that palace. Probably even now want to start getting fortified structure and stealth it. There is a Lotus going around the back. Wow. Fargo actually has more battle masters now than the nuke. <laughs> what is he going to be able to get done with that? Google is moving an outpost into position. I think he's just looking for hijackers. Though. I don't think he's actually seen the full battle masters. Coming into his base. So Fargo focusing down the trucks. There's no mines on this. So those two trucks dead. And they can now go around the back and pick off that dozer. Might be able to go around the back and do some more damage here. John McKelly's in action. Snipes the outpost. Now that's kind of good. But the steel overlords are still in play. If you snipe one more though. Then... They're not going to be able to recap, be recaptured because there's no more guys left inside of that because the one tank hunter actually occupied it. So Google is on a bit of a time limit and because he's also taking this damage and he could lose his oil very soon. Fargo just needs to hold the line until he's able to snipe this stuff. But Google's going to be level 3. He already is level 3. Carpet and artillery take out that palace. It's coming. I think Jarman's inside of there as well so you probably better make a run for it. Lotus runs into a tunnel. John McKell has made a run for it. Artillery coming through, but it's actually not on the palace. It's actually over on the top left where Google has hit the supply and the and the barracks. Carpet bomb coming in. If there's any workers left, uh, no longer left, but actually they're all dead from the artillery anyway. So Fargo taking insane damage, but as soon as that Jarman is back and ready to mingle with this, snipe the uh, overlord there. He's actually brought it over here. Okay, he's going for a counter-attack. A base trade situation. Completely going for a counter-attack. I suppose those RPGs wouldn't be able to get a lot done against that. But you still should be sniping this, I think. Because otherwise you're just throwing away your whole base. But yeah, he's completely going for the sneak attack. Uh, sorry, the uh, counter-attack. All of this doesn't need to be sniped. It can just die. But yeah, sniping that Overlord. Very, very important. Is Fargo going to snipe that Overlord? Don't know how much longer Fargo can stay in the game. Mind drop. If that's on top of the Jarman, it's probably over. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that's probably over now. A lot of the game hinged on just that one unit. The hero unit. $1,500. Fargo should have stayed back here, I think. And should have sniped both of them. And then took him for himself. And he probably would have won the game. So a bit of bad uh, game sense there from Fargo. You have I kind of like the idea of a, sne of a sneaky counter attack. And maybe if he sniped that Overlord and captured that for himself. Maybe he could have cleared Google's base. But you got to think of the support powers and yeah, you've got to remember that Google didn't have the ability to recapture them overlords actually in Fargo's base. So, And Fargo probably also should have got um, fortified structure and he should have captured his top left oil sooner. If he'd have done them a few things, I know it sounds like a lot, but if he'd have done them little tweaks throughout the game, I'm pretty sure he would have won that. Uh, although it was a bit of a weird and funky start, um, I actually think he was in quite a good position for a lot of that game, even though the, the, the unit is skilled would say otherwise. So yeah, GG, well played. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know if you miss Google too. I will send him on WhatsApp a link of this video to, and maybe it will encourage him to come back. So yeah, show him your support down in the comments. I'm sure he will read GG.